Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so I want to show you guys a really, a really cool new MP3 player that I just got. Whoops, dropping everything over here. Uh, so this is the Fio X1. This is the second generation. Fio's actually been making MP3 players for um, a while now. And I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but they also make headphone amplifiers for when your MP3 player or your phone just isn't loud enough. You can use a headphone amplifier. It's made by a company called FIIO Fio. And the Fio name has been scratched off because I've used it so much. I even burned it with a laser. Um, and so they make MP3 players, and that's what I got here. I have the Fio X1. This is the second generation. They make them, this one's like 100 bucks. They make them go to like six and seven, eight hundred dollars That's right. Believe it or not, people still use MP3 players, and I'm one of them. The reason why is because I don't like using my phone for music because it just takes battery away from things that you might need later, like text message, your camera, your phone, your... I mean your, uh, your your video function. So I don't really like using my phone for an MP3 player. That's why I have always liked MP3 players. And this one I got a few years ago. This is the uh, Sony Walkman. This is the Bluetooth one. They didn't make this one very long. Um, I never made a review of it, but this thing has been great so far. Even the battery life is still great, still holds a charge. But I wanted another Bluetooth MP3 player, and so I got the Fio X1, the second generation. So when you open it up, it's pretty neat. Oops, comes with a little case, blah, blah, blah. Comes with a sticker that says high resolution audio, which I've lost, can't find it. Screen protector, another screen protector. Instruction manual, which by the way, isn't very instructive, if that makes any sense. Everything's like in a different language, except for this one. But it doesn't really tell you much about it. You actually have to go to Fio's website and um, look at the instruction manual on there. You have the charger. And then I thought this was pretty cool. This was pretty interesting. Take the other instruction manual out. You actually have these, there it is. So you have these, um, if it ever focus, well, you get the idea. So you have these cool little, there's a white one in there too, if you can see it. You have these cool little uh, wannabe carbon fiber stickers that actually go on the front and the back of it. It looks pretty cool actually. So you can stick that on there if you want to and have this kind of have a uh, carbon fiber look. So all in all, believe it or not, is um, most people use their smartphones or their cell phones for music. There are still a lot of people that use MP3 players, and I'm one of them, and I swear by MP3 players, and it seems like a few years ago, four or five years ago, the production on MP3 players pretty much ceased. They pretty much stopped. I mean, nobody made them anymore except for iPod, but that is changing. I think more people are actually getting into MP3 players again. Uh, Fio actually has like five or six different models. You have the iPod, of course, um, and then Sony actually makes some very expensive ones, and there was a company called iRiver that's called Astel and Kern, or Astel and Kin, I'm not sure, uh, look it up, but it's a company that used to be uh, iRiver, and they also make MP3 players, so I think people are coming back to the MP3 player phase, at least I am, and in my personal opinion, I love iPhones, I love Apple products, but I'm not a fan of iPods, I do not like iTunes, I hate iTunes, uh, I prefer Amazon MP3, so you hold down the power button right here, and of course it says hello, or welcome, sorry. And this is a little touch screen thingy, as you can hear. You can move it around. I don't even use that. I just use the uh, skip forward backwards button. I don't even use this little wheel because it's kind of a pain in the butt. And it's not very precise. Hold on a second, the volume's up. So the volume actually goes all the way to 100 and stops at 88 if you have the equalizer on which is kind of funny. Uh, so in order to get the max volume of 100, you have to uh, turn the equalizer off. And if you want the equalizer on, there's actually a way to get around that because the max volume goes up to 88 and stops if you have the equalizer on. Uh, something with distortion or something like that. And there's one way to get around that, a headphone amplifier. <laughs> so if you have one of these and have no way of turning it up and you want the equalizer on, then uh, just get a headphone amplifier and it'll solve your problem. So you can go to the main menu here. Turn this down. I'm not a big fan of the 100 uh, number volume thing. I'm not a big fan of that, mostly because it just takes forever to reach the max volume when you're at 10. But anyways, here's the main menu. Of course, you can scroll through the wheel, and if you use the arrow buttons, you can actually go through it with this, you know, this way. Now, remember, this thing does not have internal memory. You have to use your own uh, micro SD card. I have a 16 gig in here right now. Probably gonna get a 32 eventually, but. I have no idea why that says Android. I have no Android products except for a tablet. Above and beyond. 
But anyways, the sound quality of this thing actually is fantastic. It's amazing. And these are songs that were put on a kind of a crappy micro SD card, so the audio may not be as good as it should be. But And these songs are so outdated, most of them, because this is an old SD card with music on it. So I'll probably update it with some of the newer stuff that's on my Sony one right here. More of the trance and electronic music now, but like Sirens of the Sea above and beyond. You guys have heard of them, maybe. I don't know. But when you go to this... Hold on a second. So the detail on this MP3 player is actually amazing. I got the rose gold is actually uh, what I got. I can't uh, I can't take all the credit. My mom got this for me for Christmas, the second generation. So if you guys have any questions at all, um, don't really know if I covered pretty much all of it, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And usually I try to get back to you as quick as I can. Um, so hopefully I uh, get to you in a reasonable amount of time. So that should do it for the Fio X1 second generation.